You would have watched a lot more than me. Not sure about Rene, but Nicolas Pepe. Yeah, Nicolas Pepe is, uh, is a player that going to need a bit of time to adjust. He's, uh, how long? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how long, but, um, you know, he's had a, not such a great start of the season. I expected a bit, you know, more from him. Uh, you know, even just the basic passes sometimes, that is just not, not clear. Um, so, yeah, from what I saw last, last year when he was at Lille, you know, scoring and assisting all them goals, I, I definitely uh, expected him to, you know, to come here and, and, and do a lot in, uh, in the Premier League. But, he'll, you know, it might take him a bit, a bit more time to adjust and uh, hopefully we will see the same Pepe that we saw last year because, yeah, he was, he was great. That's Liga. That is the game. You, that's a you, different. You played in both leagues. You know yeah, more than it's most. It's a completely different league. You know, here you haven't got time on the ball. The, the tempo, the pace, the intensity of the game is completely different. Which that's why I'm saying he will need time to to adjust to that, or it will just, you know, not make it to what we expect. Seventy-two million. Yeah. Yeah. Pounds. Be sad. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of money right there. I mean, for every Angolo Kante, there's. Uh... Marion Chama, no offence. I'm not sure if he's your <laughs> friend or not, but no, no, it doesn't always work out, friend, does it? No, I, I, I've seen glimpses of him and, and, and sometimes you think, ooh, you know, it's, he's, he's got something. But that chance that, that fell for him in the, uh, in, in, in the first half with his, with his left foot, basically, was you, you would expect players you know, of, of that calibre to do better. You hit know? the target, at least. Yeah, at least hit the target, exactly. Can he be a little bit too one-footed? I mean, not everybody can be uh, an iron robin, let's put it that way. Because oh. when we saw him against Liverpool, I mean, if you don't show him on his left, I mean, he, he can't do much. Yeah, no, true. He's very, you know, left-footed player, but you can still, you know, be a world-class player and, and only have just one great left foot. So I'm, I would not say that that's the problem. You know, I would not say that's, that's not why he's not performing and, and not scoring goals because that's what we all kind of want to see is just him scoring goals and all he's had is one penalty so far which, which is, is given to him which by is given by, by Obama Young yeah mm. so uh, I don't know I think he, he it's just maybe need to not focus so much about it I think you can you can overthink you know about oh, I need to score you know 72 million I need to score I need to score because that's what people expect of me and then sometimes you just get that chance to score and then you just crumble and don't, and don't do it, you know? So you can see that the way he plays is, is more the games goes and the less he tries because you just feel that he's, you know, thinking too much. That's a, <clears throat> it's a fair point, although I do think that with Arsenal and the way they play and the forward players that they've got, the sort of style, they will, they will always create chances and... I think it's important for him to, you know, with the more senior players, with obviously Lagazette and Aubameyang, to say, listen, just, you know, just calm down, just take it easy. Your chances will come, you know, and when when eventually you get the confidence, you know, to put a to few in the back of the net, it'll it'll all come good. I know it's a very knee-jerk reaction for me to ask you this, and but that's the world we live in nowadays. Do you think he's going to be a success or not? Based on what you've seen, we're seven games in, just the Premier League. There've been other competitions as well. From what you've seen. Uh, I think it will be an all right success. I don't think it would live up to the 72 million that Arsenal spend because with that kind of money, you expect yeah. you know the best. And I don't think it will be the best. I think he he'll do he'll do well. He'll score a few goals, and but I don't think he'll be you know he'll be scoring 20 goals this season. Understood. Well, but that's that's what is expected of those clubs. If you go back to the history of of of, of Arsenal, you had players, you know, a few Dutch. Counterparts for me, Overmars, uh, Burkham that that came in. Those guys lived up to whatever price that they had on them. You know what I mean? And it's like you said, with 72 million, there's a, there's a price that there's, and with with that price that comes expectation. So on the basis of the those seven or eight games, you think, mm, you know, we have to wait and see. I I give them the benefit of the doubt. That's that's what I would give and you know, and say, OK, let's have a look at, you know, uh, more of half the season, see where he is then. Understood. Well, I guess the only person that can uh, prove us right or wrong would be Nicholas Pepe himself over the course of the season or the next few years.